what's up? Uh, I really fucked myself in the butt by making this video because last video with the um, <clears throat> the storm shadow, I said I'm gonna do a review of freaking snake eyes now, and then now I just I just felt like oh now I gotta do that because I said I would, and then like I just kind of you know chicken shit it out. So then I took like a few days break because I was just like, you know, it's not fun when you have to do something. And then, so yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do anything. And then I got into that mindset and I was like, oh, cool. I don't have to do what I said. And then now I'm like, okay, I'm going to do what I said. So yeah, it's kind of a, kind of a retard mindset. But um, that Iron Man video, the one that has... The Mark 7, that has like 90 views now. Like, holy shit, dude. Thank you, guys. Oh, my God. You know, maybe you should subscribe. But, yeah, whatever. You know, I don't care. That has 90 freaking views. That's awesome. Uh, I have a feeling it's just going to get to 100. It's been going up 10, like, each day, which is pretty cool. I have a feeling it's just going to go to 100 and then stop and then just keep crawling like the rest of the videos. But that's okay. And that modular Iron Man got like 60 views. So that's cool. Looks like you guys like Iron Man as much as I do. Or more. Because I don't really know shit about Marvel. But yeah, dude. Now we're going to talk about another thing I don't know shit about. I really messed up. Forgot about the box. Here's the box. Uh, I did several takes on this video. And that's why I forgot. Because, you know, I did a lot of takes where I was just like... Bang, bang, and... You know, I got all mixed up and then all that, and yeah. But here's the box now. So it's got dude on it, and dude on it, and uh, yeah, there's the box. So here is G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes, and he's really, really black. I don't even know if you'll see him very well. Um, but here he is. We'll look at the details we'll just get into it since we've already been talking for a while so we got these you know the g da joe go joe stripes right there so that's cool and then you got some some redness on his knees that's nice and then uh you got some silver on his pee, -pee. and the rest of them is just kind of black but with really cool sculpted details uh, the shoulders is really cool i like how it's like Almost, it almost looks like his muscles, you know, like the inner parts of his muscles. It looks kind of cool. And then, uh, I like how this neck, the neck flows, you know, because it's got, it's got these weird, like, flaps right here. Like, neck protectors. But then they're, like, rubbery material. So you could, you could still get some range. But yeah, there's not much to talk about with the details. Well, there is, but I don't want to talk about it because uh, you're looking at it right now. So, what the frick, dude? Why would I speak into blah, blah, blah? So, let's get into the articulation. So, the head, I just showed you the head already. Uh, we're going to try to work our way down this time instead of, you know, going all over the place. So, head, ball joint. Um, you can take it off. Um, and we'll get into the interchangeable head in a minute. Oh, shit. God damn it. Hang on. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. Pop the head on. Okay, and then, so you got the head, the neck, and then we got the arms. They go all the way around, over and over and over again. So that's cool. And then you got a swivel right here. You got a bend double joint at the arm. Um, the arms can go out that far. Uh, there's a butterfly jump. Oh, shit. You hear that crack? Because I did. Um, butterfly joint. Um... Uh, uh, wrists go up and down. They got the vertical, not the stupid horizontal. Um, this hand has the same. Yeah, it does. So, yeah, there's that. And then there's an ab crunch. Goes backward that far, forward that far. And then there is a swivel. Is that a swivel? No, it's more of a ball. It's kind of loose right there. I don't know. Maybe that was just me messing with it and then broke it. But it's kind of loose. It won't fall off. It's just wiggly. So, yeah, there's those joints. Did I get everything? I think I got the whole top. Okay, the legs go forward that far and back that far. And they have these really cool, same with um, with the 
Storm Shadow, Shadow Storm, fucking, what's his name? I don't know which order it's in, Shadow Storm, or Storm Shadow, I'm pretty sure Storm Shadow, because that sounds, that sounds Asian, um, but, yeah, he's got that same joint in the leg as the last guy, um, you got a swivel right here that's pretty tight, can you go all the way around? Um, yes you can, so that's cool, and then you got a bend at the knee, a double jointed knee, uh, that's cool. Uh, you got an ankle pivot. It's very nice. Then you got a backwards and forwards at the ankle. And I think that's pretty much it for the articulation. And I like his posability. I like, I like just having a solid, you know, solid ninja figure. You know, that's always fun. And then you got his his uh his freaking oh, I farted. You got this uh, sword right here with paint chipped on it, and that really sucks. But yeah, this is the the issue I was having. Every time you put it in here, it's like it's a nightmare, man, because it scrapes paint off. But um, I think I I usually just put this on his back and have him hold his swords anyway, so it's not too big a deal for me. But um, you know, if you're making a stop motion, it kind of breaks the immersion. Um, but yeah, the sword funky very funky funky paint so yeah and that's why i was talking about i like this guy better because his swords just go like this and then they're like a loose fit so they will fall out if he's upside down like this but still i like i like that because they're not so tight like your mom and they don't freaking get all scraped up and i dig that and i also wish that the the handle on this wasn't painted and it was like black plastic like him so yeah I think he's black plastic and then paint over it I'm not quite sure can't really tell he's just too black to tell but there was some black flakes right there so yeah I think there's some paint but um uh the the paint on the the hilt or the the holder is pretty good I like that that's cool and that doesn't scrape at all I don't think so yeah that's cool Unlike freaking Iron Man Mark 7, the freaking, maybe that's why it got so many views. Maybe it's because you guys were like, maybe your uh, paint, your gold paint just rotted off and then you wanted to watch my video and relate to me. I don't know. But here's the, here's the, the knives. They got some kind of writing in there, but um, there's no goddamn chance my camera's going to even get that. So yeah, um, you can watch. Uh, T Man nine seven eight or something. That guy has that guy's pretty cool, and he had he he'll show you the details in there. He has a good camera, so watch him. Um, so yeah, there's your accessory. What are we doing? Let's put him in his hands. What the fuck am I doing? All right, so this will go on the back, and this is what why I was hesitant to review this dude because I tied it around so it didn't fall off, and then I had to take that off for you guys, freaking idiots. So, yeah, it'll it'll go on his back nicely, and it's not loose. It'll just, you know, it's really easy still. It's, like, kind of loose. But I think if you were to just move this down like this, it would work. So that, that works. If you do that, I think it's a lot tighter. So, yeah, you got the sword, and then we'll put it in his hands. You get a pretty cool pose with the... With the sword, get a cool pose going. So do it like this, and then I think I think the sword is too short. Like this guy's swords, I think are are good size, but this guy's like the handle is just too damn short. Maybe it's just me, but he only really looks good with with one hand, one handed sword, and his hands are kind of loose, but they're rubbery, so you could squeeze them. So I don't really have complaints about that. But yeah, there's your sword. Um, these knives, you kind of have to put the blade into his fingies and then put it on. Because that'll work better because it's really hard to flex his hand open. Especially when you want him to hold the sword. Then you just break his hands basically. Um, so yeah, you got the, the cool knives. Those are cool. Um, so we'll now we'll do comparisons. Actually, no, he's got a head. You can give him head. 
so I will take his head off. Yeah, I know it's weird. Snake eyes with a friggin' head. What the heck? But there's his head. And of course, he's Asian because he's a ninja. Um, yes, there's his head. That's how his head was in the movie. And then, yeah, the movie was kind of eh. But we'll take that off. Because the head's lame. Actually, we didn't even look at the head. So here's the head details. So basically, Asian dude with some, what's that called? Not really beard, but beard. So yeah, there's your head. Look, I'm shaking so much. So yeah, dude, there's the head. Here, we'll compare these heads. These heads, two Asian bros chilling out. What's up, Asian head? What's up, dude? So yeah, there's your Asian heads. Um, The figure, we'll compare him with the sizes. So the size, let's get this shit out of here. The size is pretty accurate, I guess. I mean, they're both just some dudes. It wouldn't be that hard to, to get accurate. Um, this guy has trouble standing up, so just bear with me, please. So, there you go. There's your soft comparison. So, yeah. Um, white and black, dude. So that's cool. Um, the sword here. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll show you what I'm talking about with the with the handle and stuff, and stuff. So, wait a second. Am I wrong? Are they the same height? I think I'm wrong, dude. I swear I was comparing these the other day, and I was like, dude, this one's too short. Well, I guess I'm wrong. I thought these ones seemed a lot longer. So, uh, I'm a retold. But there you have your your comparison to his brother um here let's get a let's get a weapon in his hand because you know how snake eyes is he likes guns so we'll put a this sawed off shotgun in his hand it was just a big old shotgun i had and then i sawed it because it broke and i was like oh man that sucks but yeah he looks good with weapons so yeah that's cool Kind of too black to see. Just blends in with his blackness. But yeah, man. Pretty cool figure. So yeah. Um, there's my review of G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Guys. So yeah, dude. Um, I know it's not Snake Guys. I'm not freaking stupid. It's Snake Eyes. Oh my god. Um, there's your review. Uh, have a good day. Thank you for 90 views on the Iron Man video. Bye-bye. <laughs>